It's the summer holidays. <laughs> oh yes, I was wondering what would have bring first, your mind or your body. Let me see if I got that on record. Oh no. Oh yeah. Yeah boy. Lightweight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh. It's the summer holidays and I'm back home in my wall there. It's the summer holidays and I flew back to Malaysia to visit my grandmother and my family. And I'm staying at my grandmother's countryside house. Holy shit, what do I say next? Uh and so from the last time I visited her, I was this sort of beta male with, with bad mental health. Everything was bad about this guy. I had like a fat chubby body. It wasn't even skinny fat at that point. It was literally just chubby, straight up chubby. And if you know with Asian faces, I particularly had a chubby face to go along with my fat body. And even now I have a little bit of a chubby face even though i'm shredded now my point is back then i was a sort of distracted always on tiktok watching k-pop watching k-drama or just scrolling through instagram every single day it was just the typical like 14 year old teenager type of phase if you get what i mean with all of these i didn't have the same level of awareness i have now what I mean by not having as much awareness is I sort of kept myself distracted. I didn't really see my family members like I should have been. I wasn't a hundred percent with them. Like my presence wasn't there. I was always half. I was always dividing my attention to them. I was always on my phone watching TikTok whilst I was talking to them. And so I never, and so I never really paid attention and respect them. I never like fully gave them my presence. And so just a few weeks ago, I was in Malaysia. Now I'm back in the UK. This visit to my grandmother, however, was a lot different. The whole street of the countryside. So she lives in this like block of houses, 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 houses. And it's all like relatively old houses. It's all countryside type of houses. It's all basically, if you just look at it from afar, it's probably, it looks like a sort of a slum. And so with all of these houses beside her, of course she's built year, year, literal decade long relationships with these neighbors. But what I noticed from coming back is there is a lot of crazy, grandmothers there's a lot of crazy old people in this street of hers like literally on the left side of her house there's this grandmother another grandmother that has a like indent on this side of her head and she every like literally every five minutes she takes a conversation with my grandma she starts crying because she thinks of something sad and then she's like she's complaining that her uh, children aren't coming back uh, that she hasn't got any family she doesn't have anything to eat when re in reality, like family, her family comes home every night. So I don't know what she's talking about. And so on the right side, there is a literal batshit crazy woman that for whatever reason, like now hates my grandmother. And whenever my grandmother is feeding a stray dog outside of house with like leftover bones from yesterday, this old lady on the right side just has to come out and stop throwing sticks at a stray dog. I don't know why. And then this like also hurts my grandmother. And so I'm scared here that all of these people, especially the grandmother on the left side with the constant crying and bad negative thoughts, I'm scared that it will negatively influence my grandmother into thinking that she's also a dying sort of person that doesn't have any family members. No one's taking care of her. No one cares about her. I'm scared that it will influence her because if you know the phrase of you are who you hang out with or like you are the sum average of the five people you hang around, that is pretty, pretty proven. I believe that 
if she keeps on going down this path without me like supporting her oh you are healthy you're literally the only healthiest grandma in this whole entire street you're that like you're literally the healthiest look at all the healthy things that i've bought you today look at the healthy supplements look at the healthy uh all-in-one supplement drinks that i've bought you do you not think you are healthier than every other grandma in this street and so essentially without me there constantly gaslighting her and telling her that she's the best she's the most healthiest i fear that with a long time she'll develop a bad negative mindset again a crippling death mindset and so in this video i'm going to be explaining all of the things that i can that i thought of at the time in malaysia on how to make your grandmother a long living one and allow her to live until like the ages of over 100 to literally see your grandchildren or your son and so this brings me to the first point the cause the cause is the cause of your grandmother's like dementia bad mental health is loneliness lack of strong and healthy friend group evil lower your cholesterol scandal slash marketing campaign so i'll explain this one by one Number one is loneliness, and this means that if you asked her if she's like lonely and like whatever, she, if she's being honest, she may very well say that she's like lonely a lot of the time. But from what you'll find, at least from my grandmother, is that she will have occasionally some slightly younger friends that come over that just talk to her, talk to her about her family, like bring tea over and then just she isn't as lonely as she like says, says she is but the main point here is her mind she thinks she's lonely she thinks she doesn't have anything to fall back on she doesn't think she has a strong tribal family she doesn't think she has a tight bond with her family but once again as my grandmother says she doesn't have any friends that's what she says but it's been proven many times she has loads of friends. Whenever she walks down to supermarket, obviously she can't walk very well right now, but whenever my mum, me and my mum takes her in a car down to the supermarket, bro, like six friends appear out of nowhere and she talks like 15 minutes with each of them. Number two is lack of strong and healthy friend group. So my grandmother does actually have a strong and healthy friend group, but she doesn't have easy access to them. They are sort of in this... It's a short walk away to this noodle store that they all work in. And my grandmother, generally speaking, cannot walk there because she has a cane. And whenever she walks a long distance, her leg just like inflates and like a bunch of inflammation, basically. And so she doesn't have access to these people. And once again, she's stuck with these two people on the side of her house, literally influencer and giving her bad mental health. Number three is the same days over and over again. Without us, without me and my mom, she can't walk long distances. And so she's stuck in the house majority of the time. And with the same days over and over again, time is kind of weird. It's kind of warped and perhaps it goes slower in the present but you don't remember much of it and so if you reflect back on it it probably went pretty fast but in the present it's slow because it's the same day over and again and another thing with this same day over and over again it's the tv is a big big proponent in her bad mental health as well so what i mean by this is there are these commercials that literally repeat over and over and over again over literal like three weeks and then one advert changes i guess i should have explained this but she's watching traditional tvs so you don't get to choose what programs you watch you don't get to watch youtube you don't get what to watch netflix you don't get to choose anything literally if you think about it, if it's repeating and repeating every single day along with the day, like every single action amongst the day is just the same, do you not think that her memory, without seeing some new thing, without experiencing some new experience for her, to, for her brain to process, do you not think her brain would be degrading? Do you not think that these advertisements would literally degrade and burn her brain, literally dissolve her brain into 
like a useless thing because she doesn't use it anymore. There's no new thing for her to learn and for her brain to process. And so point four is evil, lower your cholesterol, TV scandal marketing campaign. I, I've done a long research on this because my grandmother and my mother, they all have this mindset of cholesterol. And I get why they would think that from literal doctors, straight up doctors, just literally what like East Asian parents trust the most is doctors, doctor's advice. But I've done some research on this and cholesterol isn't as bad as you think. And almost 70% of why you think cholesterol bad is probably from these shitty little brands that say these like oil brands or fat, like butter brands, these bread, egg, egg brands, they all have this label of lower your cholesterol, lowers cholesterol or lower cholesterol. So the scandal here is literally your body is 70% cholesterol. I think that's the fact, if I'm not mistaken, but your body is 70% cholesterol. And the food that you eat that's high in cholesterol you don't even process that. That's like, you get like 15% of the cholesterol that you eat. So there's a high percent, like a, there's a high cholesterol food. You get 15% of that because your body doesn't even digest the rest. And your brain is 30% cholesterol. So how does this make a cholesterol bad? Because cholesterol is needed apparently for every single cell. And if I were to take out every cholesterol cell in your body, you would literally die in a couple of seconds. And so all of these facts I've gone from articles, from keto influencers, from actual like qualified doctors online that isn't that they aren't giving medical advice, but they are qualified to give that advice. And so Cholesterol isn't really as bad as you think, especially if you get it from foods, you need cholesterol for like normal hormone production, basically. And cholesterol is good for brain health, actually. If you just look that up, literally, there is a study that I saw from the other day. I don't know why I didn't write it down here, but this is actually such an important point. I saw a study that said all of these old people in the study that had signs of lower cholesterol were more likely to have a risk of dementia or already had dementia. If you just look that up, lower cholesterol, elderly people leading to dementia. So this means that from the East Asian country of Malaysia, if you buy these foods that are lower in cholesterol, which the whole entire fucking like town of my town in Malaysia, Perhaps even the whole of Malaysia is just buying low cholesterol food. And that's probably why these, the whole streets basically has dementia at this point. They all have memory problems, including my grandmother. She's beginning to show signs of it. All because these stupid marketing campaigns, these stupid billion dollar companies that just tell you that cholesterol is bad for you. These stupid scandals. That makes your grandmother scared of eating eggs. Buying the eggs are literally lacking in nutrients. That they literally have to enrich it. They literally have to add selenium back into it. They have to add the vitamins back into it. And then they literally have on the packaging lower cholesterol eggs. And then my grandmother goes ahead and buys that. Because she thinks cholesterol is bad. Leading to her fucking memory problems. And so this leads me to the second point. The fixes I've tried. So these are all of the fixes I've tried and like majority of them have worked and some of them I tried to implement and I believe it needed a longer time to implement and fully ingrain in the mind. But obviously I had to come back to the UK. And so the first fix to her bad mental health, bad uh, memory is long conversations. I don't believe that she gets many, many interesting, new, insightful, long conversations. Generally speaking, whenever she gets long conversations, which is rare, she almost always get a repeated conversation about some gossip that's not really helping her memory, not really jogging her mind, not really burning any calories from literally just thinking, not really giving her anything to process. 
And so with these long conversations, I've literally, whenever it's my lunch break, I sit down next to her and literally have a hour long conversation with her talking about everything that's happening in the UK, um, what my un other uncles across the world are doing, uh, just like generally speaking new stuff that she doesn't hear often. And so I hope that jogs her memory and like processes, allows her to process new information. Second thing is try to make her recall instances. So she's gone into the bad habit of relying on others. So my two uncles that are in the house, she even when she can do something, so she suffered an injury with her hand and her leg, that's why she needs a cane. And one of her hands can't like fully close. So she can close it until here, but she can't do this. And so literally she can peel this thing. She can peel a fruit. She can like open a bag, but Instead, she literally asked, she's gotten into the habit of asking an uncle to do that for her. And so when I, this time when I came back, I literally told her to try it for another minute or so. And guess what? Within three seconds, she opens the bag. This is literally the babysitting and relying on others. And she's literally built the habit of relying on others and not trying to like constantly improve herself. Of course, she is trying to like grip, grasp her hand again with like this rubber ball. But if she just literally did all of these things on herself, like that she actually can like progressively overload, if you get what I mean, if you've ever been in the gym, progressive overload is like adding 0 0.5 kg to your next weight so that you gain more muscle. So she doesn't, she needs to progressive overload. And this is what I've tried to make her do. But in this specific case of the second point, recall instances is she's gone ahead and applied this habit to her mind as well. She's applied this habit of relying on others to think for her. She's literally relied on others to think for her. And so literally when she's trying to recall instances, she just asks someone when she's literally been there first row seats to experience that like experience. And so she literally Whenever she asked me what happened the other day, what, what, what did she say again? I ask her to think. I don't speak out loud. I don't tell her anything. She, I ask her to think about it herself. And so this starts to jog her memory again. And then hopefully that reduces her risk of actually having dementia. Number three is get her exposed to better friends. So this is kind of out of my control, but since we did uh, borrow my uncle's car and my mom drove down to this noodle store with her better friends, which are actually, actually, I should have explained this, but all of her friends in the noodle stores are healthy. They're all like agile. They're all like, they're all of their brains are fast, rapid, and they all make jokes all the time. And so I genuinely think that these noodle store friends are actually insanely good for her. Whenever some like, guy with fruits and like durian comes along like these aunties literally just buy the durian take it in and just all eat it while making noodles like that that's such a good culture to have and not to mention there's literally a plethora of friends that are in the noodle stores that my that that my grandmother knows about like literally we brought her down there like twice and of those two times Every time she's had like at least seven friends come into the noodle store and she's literally talked to them for ages. And so technically it would be better if she got exposed to her better friends. But obviously we can't really do that now uh, because we're back in the UK and my uncles don't really take her to that place. Because they value their time, but their time is dog shit. They waste it with fucking video games and waiting for people to like call them and it's just so stupid just fucking respect your mum a little bit more just if i had to say something to my uncle just fucking respect your mum look at how she, look at how hard she worked when you were fucking like a toddler but anyways number four is encourage the sun so she doesn't my grandmother hasn't like literally hasn't seen the sun in ages and so in the morning she likes to sit in her wheelchair to read a newspaper and like sip on coffee with a few biscuits and so there is a shaded sitting place for her to sit at, and so she just sits there but then there is the beautiful sun that comes out around like maybe 7 30 and then so when it's 7 30 
and from 7.30 to literally almost 6 o'clock, there is a sun. And so when it is my lunch break, I come out and if she's still sitting there, I, I take her wheelchair and literally wheel her towards the sun, open the gate and allow her to sit near the sun. I don't know what you exactly call it, but it's the, the literal like fan that you hold in your hand and then you just like pat it at her. And so obviously she's complaining that it's too hot, oh, but then she knows it's healthy as well because... I say that no, oh, you should get more sun, get more vitamin D, uh, get the sunlight in your eyes to uh, reset your circadian, circadian rhythm, and we're there for a solid ten minutes in the sun. And obviously, I wheel her back in, and that I think adds to her health. Number five is take her to new places for new experiences. So this could basically only happen when we were back in Malaysia because we had access to the car, and we literally go all across town into fucking Kuala Lumpur and then just take her to new places that she's never been before and take her to eat new food and when we left we gave her a whole stack of photos for her to look at so basically a photo album that marks this uh, vacation back to Malaysia with her and so she can just reflect back on new experiences that she's experienced and then hopefully that jogs her memory a little bit more. Number six is diet. Now diet is, I've got a lot of points under the topic of diet, so switch Aspar team sweetener to monk fruit extract. So with old people, they use sweeteners, of course, but try not to use the artificial sweetener and even better, just try to get her off of sugar. I couldn't convince her to get off sugar because Honestly, she's so fucking adamant on putting sugar in coffee, getting coffee to be sweet. I gave her like bitter coffee once I made a coffee for her. And she's literally saying like, why didn't you put sugar in this? Oh, it tastes terrible. How is it not going to taste? How is, how is it not going to taste good without sugar? Just, this is such an old person mindset that's hard to work out with her. And so I did the best thing I could do at the time, which is switch aspartame and artificial sweetener to monk fruit extract, which is better for her, more natural and not as bad as aspartame. You know what? I'll classify diet as number three. The point, main topic number three is diet because this is literally such a long thing that I've written down on diet. And why not? So point number two is I got her on one egg per day. So before this, she didn't think eggs were good. It's uh, too high for your cholesterol. But then one day, one neighbor from the other side of the house, literally directly opposite our house, came over and she was talking about uh, how eggs are good for the brain. Well, she wasn't talking about it. I kind of instigated the conversation and then she talks about how eggs are good for the brain. And she's literally the oldest in the whole entire neighborhood, I'm pretty sure. And this old lady that came by, she had a fast mind as well, not to mention that she's the oldest. And so I believe that helped me in convincing my grandmother on eating one egg per day. And so the third point under the category of diet is occasionally including lion's mane mushroom in her meal. So in Malaysia, we have access to lion's mane mushroom in the form of dried, or I think that's fresh, but maybe that's fresh. I've never actually seen fresh, but there we have dried lion's mane mushroom and f f what lion's mane mushroom is, it's literally, I believe there was a study that there was this old guy who constantly took lion's mane mushroom in a pill form for like a long period of time and that supposedly reduced his dementia or Alzheimer's by 70% and he recovered from it. It, repair, it literally repairs your brain, basically. And so I occasionally, when I went back, bought lion's mane mushroom for her and forced her to eat that. Well, not forced, because she like she found it actually kind of delicious with the sort of sauces that we were cooking it in. And yeah. Number four under the category of diet is switched her margarine. Is it margarine? Fuck, what was it? Yeah, it's pretty, I think it's margarine to grass-fed Lurpak butter. I'm trying, I'm still thinking if it's margarine or not. 
So margarine is a sort of shittier version of butter that you can just leave out on on the table desk without refrigerating in the hot Malaysian weather. So I found that kind of odd. And with the specific margarine that they bought and ate, one of my uncles bought the margarine and she eats that on a daily basis with bread. And that margarine, it's so fucking terrible. It's got artificial flavoring an ingredient like multiple ingredients called like e220 e e200 whatever just these synthetic things that like thicken up the thing preservatives just a bunch of bullshit that you don't want your grandmother a frail body to ingest and so i switched that to grass-fed butter and um i won't explain much in detail why butter is good for you and why most people think butter's bad and that's actually not the case but if you want to learn more about that check out my um, perfect diet video which will cover why butter is actually good for you but essentially butter is it provides the salt if it's the slightly salted kind for your grandmother that's lacking in salt and gives her some electrolytes and some minerals back in her body and generally speaking butter is a part of the marketing campaigns that billion dollar companies they just hate on butter to make their little synthetic plant-based butters. Number five under the category of diet is I switched all of her all-in-one meal replacement drinks to a completely zero additive, more expensive, healthy one instead of a off-brand Nutri-Sure to a Kino Himitsu Royal Pumpkin. So that is the brand I literally switched it to. So she had this, if you just look up Nutri-Sure, all-in-one supplement drink it's this thing that's been programmed into like every single old person in the in malaysia basically overall it's said that grand grandmothers grandfathers old people should eat less but more nutrient packed food and so this is a way for them to receive their nutrients and so the one she was drinking was literally an off-brand Nutrishaw. It wasn't even Nutrishaw. So Nutrishaw is the biggest brand in all-in-one supplement drinks. Everyone buys that. But she had a off-brand Nutrishaw. It was literally called like Nego Show. <laughs> it was even worse than Nutrishaw. It, it had even more like terrible stuff in it. It had even less like ingredients to actually provide nutrients to her and why nutri nutri sure and off-brand nutri sure is bad is because they literally have maltodextrin in it if you just look it up on youtube maltodextrin is like this hyper chemicalized potato starch that's made to maybe thicken it up i'd say and it's generally bad for you and causes inflammation etc and so I switched that to a Kinohimitsu Royal Pumpkin and this like some luxury and more expensive brand, like probably three times the price of the off-brand Nutrishore and Nutrishore in general. But this brand, I've inspected every single ingredient on the back of the... And so this Kinohimitsu had all of the good ingredients. It was all whole foods, whole grains, and there was literally no additives. There was no preservative, no complete bullshit stuff it was all from real food all whole foods and if you're wondering why royal pumpkin is because literally of every other flavor of kinohu mitsu had a little bit of sucralose that was the only part that was kind of bad and so i found a completely no non-sweet and no sucralose version and that happened to be royal pumpkin and uh, royal pumpkin had apparently this is what they reviewed it as like my mum and my grandmother drank it they reviewed it as little bit of sweet but overall very fragrant and aromatic as a last point here is an article that said seven things for the brain so i can't find this article now i tried to find an update to provide you the relevant like points that the article actually said but it was on but it was along the lines of uh things you have to do to have better brain health or things to avoid to have better brain health so number one was like get a good friend group social friend group number two is literally like use your brain more as in experience more process more and um just learn just start learning from books and whatever but my grandmother that now that i think of it that is one of the big proponents as well she literally like 
when it's the afternoon or the morning or the night, she literally just sits there in her chair, either watching TV or just straight up sitting in her chair, doing nothing. And so that's probably why her brain health is deteriorating. She's just thinking about the same things over and over again. Essentially, I saw this art school and literally everything that they named, my grandmother didn't do. And so that was quite alarming. And it all made sense to me right there and then. Now the third main topic is future slash advanced additions. Assuming we've been ambitious and have earned money. So these are solutions for the future that I believe will actually be on top of your grammar. So all of the things, all of the rudimentary things that like that get her to 100% good health is probably just to focus on the basics of sleep, good social group, uh, good diet, and um, new experiences to jog her brain memory. That is probably all you need to focus on forever and that you should keep that there forever. However, if you want to go above and beyond 100%, so 120% better grandma, literally make her superhuman, make her the super grandma of the entire neighborhood, make her run a marathon in front of her, like the decrepit friends. And so the first thing, the first addition here is stem cell treatment, brain or joints. So she, when she suffered the joint injury, I was thinking about stem cell treatment, but obviously I didn't have the funds to do that. But if I did, that would be such a G move, wouldn't it? It was, if, imagine your grandmother broke her leg and then you just come out of nowhere. Let's go to an institution, fly on a fucking helicopter or a private jet and then give her some injections. She can run a marathon again. And so the, the second thing is a uh, high quality daily supplements were reviewed by a doctor. Now I put reviewed by doctor is because literally she won't take any supplements unless the doctor said so. And um, because I tried to buy a multivitamin for her, but she said, no, what if I eat that and then I die? And so <laughs> she needs a doctor to review it I, because I literally drilled this into her the other day. I, I kept on asking because if she doesn't answer straight up. She kind of just whenever she doesn't feel like answers, answering something, she just kind of goes off topic and then tries to talk about something else. But I kept on drilling this into her because I had the new sense of awareness because literally every other family member, whenever she goes off topic, like every other family follows it and it's so useless basically. And so the thing I was thinking about was a Lion's Maid supplement or a company that would supply her the right supplements that she needs. So perhaps a nurse comes over. I've, I've heard about the brand before. I'm not sure what it was called, but it's something that Mike Thurston takes and like some other high level accomplishing CEO. It's this company that comes and takes your blood and then like does a f like 50 parameter blood test and then like brings back the results of what you're lacking. And then they give you this like supplement that is tailored towards you. And so that's what I'm hoping to do with my grandmother whenever I break through the fourth wall and start making money. And number three is fasting, but I couldn't convince my family. Fasting is generally good for like everyone, except probably growing children. I did try to convince, subtly convince my grandmother and like convey the fact that fasting is good. But then obviously all family members like intervene and oh, why are you telling your grandmother to not yet? If you look at her, she's already bagging bones. Obviously, I couldn't convince them to uh, allow my grandmother to even just intermittent fast. And of of course, literally, I couldn't. I literally told this to my family members, and they didn't believe me. Like, would it not be better if she literally just skipped coffee and fucking biscuits in the morning, carbohydrates in the morning? If she just skipped that intermittent fast and used up the fat in her body to provide nutrients and like literally make her more healthy, like all of the benefits of fasting and then in the afternoon eat alongside me. And so that I believe is the end of the video. I didn't think this video would be that long. I think it would, I thought it would have been like 30 minutes or so, but we'll see when we edit this video. If you want to join my discord, if you want to talk to me, I'm free in discord. Just come and talk to me about whatever you want. And Thanks for watching, bro. In a bit.